So dizziness and blackout are very common uh, symptoms. So they happen when the, when the person uh, is not receiving enough blood supply to the brain. So they start feeling a little bit foggy and they might feel a little bit dizzy. Sometimes it is a localized uh, ear problem, so like an inner ear problem. And sometimes it is a systemic problem, like anemia, bleeding, infection. And sometimes there is a problem with the heart rhythm or brain electrical signals. Yes, so dizziness has a lot of causes and many, many variations. So if it happened in a young person who, who, who just had a whole day, they didn't have something to eat or drink and feel a little bit dizzy, it could be entirely benign. But if, 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 if it leads to a complete blackout, especially if the patient, if the person has got trauma like hip injury or he, someone blacked out while driving, it's a serious problem and need to be investigated thoroughly as it could, it could be point to a dangerous heart rhythm problem or significant brain problem like epilepsy or a systemic problem. So I will focus on the cardiac causes for dizziness. So if the person is having chest pain, if they're having palpitation, if they feel discomfort in the chest prior or after to dizziness, this is, this is a very significant and should pinpoint to more of, towards a cardiac cause for the dizziness. But if someone blacked out and this followed up by some jerking, loss of urine and, 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 and control, this might uh, biting the tongue or uh, other symptoms could pinpoint to epileptic fits. If, it, if the person is feeling tired or having any bleeding issue, it could be pinpoint to systemic problem. So first of all, the person needs to be assessed thoroughly by the doctor, the GP, and then refer to the speciality of uh, concern or, or interest after doing some initial assessment, ECG, checking blood pressure, and doing some routine blood tests. The first and the most important key factor is to do uh, to listen to the person, to listen to uh, the patient well. So the a discussion with the with the treating doctor and GB is a key factor. After knowing all the circumstances behind the dizziness or blackout, we could we could pinpoint to the appropriate referral or investigation. First, most people will require a routine blood test to check for anemia, kidney, liver function, and electrolyte disturbance. A baseline ECG and checking blood pressure is a key for all person. Then depends on the initial assessment and the history. The patient could be directed to an ENT doctor to check their ear. They could be referred to neurologists. They could be referred to cardiologists. Or we could stop at the first stage and give them some general advice. If, if the dizziness has been recur recurrent, causing significant symptoms or affecting quality of life, of course, the person needs to speak to uh, the doctor and seek medical advice. If it, if it led to loss, complete loss of consciousness or any physical injury, they need to seek medical advice. If there is any family history of sudden cardiac death at a young age or uh, cardiac trouble, the person needs to seek medical advice immediately. So this is the first thing. If, of course, if the person if had blackout while driving or, was, or, or while walking or, and led to significant trouble, they might need to present to hospital immediately and ring 999 and go to hospital.